Hi, I'm Greg. I'm going to tie a BLM, which stands for Beaded Little Mayfly. A gentleman by the name of Tim Hing uh, originated this fly um, up on the Frying Pan River and also the Roaring Fork. <clears throat> it's a neat little bug. It uh, incorporates, a, I think it was probably one of the first patterns that actually had a bead tied in at the thorax of, the, of the, the body of the fly. So we're going to use a Tamco 101 or a 101 SPBL, whichever you prefer. The bead will be a tungsten copper bead. You could also tie this in a non-tungsten, which would be fine as well. The material itself is called angel hair and we use this for the tail, the body, also the wing case and the legs. And then I'm going to rib that with some Lagerton fine copper wire. And then the thread of course, um, a dot. I'm just going to use some olive or whatever size to match the color of fly you're going to tie. This fly is really good in a couple of colors. Of course, the olive, they do a pheasant tail coloration as well, and then also black. <clears throat> but again, you can use your imagination. And uh, angel hair comes in about 75 different colors. So I've mounted the bead onto the hook. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount my thread right behind the eye of the hook. And I'm going to push this bead right up to where I mounted that thread. I'd say about one eye width behind the eye. I'm just going to make a little thread dam. What this is going to do is give something for this bead to butt up against. Otherwise it would just slide right up to the eye of the hook and we wouldn't have any room to accomplish what we need to do here. So once I've done that, I'm just going to go ahead and just do a couple turns of the whip finish tool and cut this thread off. Attach my thread behind. Get the copper wire. I'm going to put that wire right into the back of the bead. I'm also going to lay the wire right on, the, on my side of the hook. Come back. I'm just right above the barb of the hook. Now this angel hair looks like this. So it's pretty unruly. So I found the best way to handle this is I'll cut some pieces off. And if you wet it, You can keep it from fraying apart. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat this just like I would say I'm going to tie a pheasant tail. So I'm going to make a couple of, or one wrap to where that's right on top of the hook. Bring my thread in front, bring it forward, and I'm going to build a little tapered underbody with my thread. That will also keep this bead from sliding backwards. 
So I kind of have it dammed up in the front and the back. Then I'm going to grab this angel hair. Stuff is really slick, so I'm just going to make sure that tail doesn't move. And I'm going to advance this up the body. Clip that off. I'm going to run my wire underneath the tail, just like we do on a pheasant tail, in the in the hook. And then just my first wrap is just a per perpendicular hook or wrap. And then I'm going to rib this forward, creating a little rib effect. Then I've taken another chunk of this angel hair. What I'm going to do is tie that on behind the bead. Now at this point I need to take my thread to the front, so I'm just going to jump it right to the front. Bring it up right to the eye. And then at this point I can bring the angel hair right over the top as a wing case. I'm going to make a couple of wraps just to kind of hold it in place. Now at this point all these individual fibers of this angel hair I'm going to separate. Just like we would on the pheasant tail, where we take one, maybe one strand on the near far side and then another on the near side. So I'm just going to divide these fibers up, make a couple of wraps backwards, trapping that on the far side of the hook. Then I'm going to grab it, the other piece, make a wrap. trapping it on my side of the hook and now I can just whip finish the head tighten everything down grab the legs cut them to length which is just right past the thorax and I can trim up the tail, which is going to be about half the length of the body. And that is our beaded little mayfly. Shiny little bug. Gets the fish's attention. And uh, this fly really works well. Tim is a great guy. And... Uh, Let's come up with a couple great patterns. So try it in your local water.